I'm Jade Harrison. I'm the host of Hot Property Radio Show on 91.1 Hot FM. Uh, and I'm a property journalist and have been for 20 years. So I first met Mel Cayley about 15 years ago uh, as a journalist. I started using Mel as a property journalist, basically, uh, and it, was, it didn't take me long to realise that he was a, a definitely a specialist in his field, especially when it comes to property. So as a magazine editor at the time, uh, I was using him as a really great resource uh, for a lot of content, uh, cover stories and things like that on all property and economic, I guess, related stories that we were running. And yeah, he's always been a fantastic source. He really does. He really knows the property market unlike pretty much anyone else I've ever spoken to over the last you know, two decades when it comes to property. I remember reporting Mel probably back around 2008, 2009, around that time, I was writing a cover story about the Sunshine Coast property market back then. And he was giving me some very interesting quotes at the time that were sort of defying, I guess, what a lot of other economists were saying in the market at that time. So, you know, as a journalist, that was very, it piqued my interest. And it's quite interesting because I still have those articles today. And when I look back on those articles, everything he said was 100% accurate. And he was quite often going against what a lot of other economists and property experts uh, were saying at the time. So I found with Mel that, you know, he's very data driven, very fact driven, but he uses a lot of different data. So he makes some really great um, innovative sort of forecasts, I guess. And from my experience, pretty much everything is said uh, has come to fruition. Look, one of the most prominent in my career issues that I remember him raising was back around 2008, that the Sunshine Coast property market would experience a severe undersupply. Now, at that time in the property market here on the Sunshine Coast, that wasn't obvious. We didn't appear to have any price wars. We didn't have, you know, ridiculous price growth at that stage. We didn't have people, you know, struggling for accommodation. Absolutely nothing like what we've got now in the property market. Um, but he called it. He made that call back then. I remember sort of us in the industry going, okay, well, let's have a look at what this guy's saying. And he was basically telling us back then that there will be a massive supply issue on the Sunshine Coast. Um, and he kind of forecast basically what would happen and, and it's happened. It's, we were in a housing crisis at the moment uh, and as he's been saying this for over, you know, over a decade now. So that was probably one of the most prominent ones I recall because I remember thinking as a journalist at the time, we don't have an undersupply. What, what is this guy saying? And, uh, you know, it all stacked up and he was right. Look, I think too, the other interesting thing about Mal Cayley is that some of the predictions he makes or some of the things that he educates, I guess, everyday people on is some of the common myths within the property market. It's things that people think are the norm or things that have been done for the last, you know, three or four decades in property, whether it's interest rates, you know, um, the correlation between interest rates and property prices. You know, everyone thinks as soon as interest rates go up that, you know, property prices come down. All of these sort of set and forget, I guess, formulas that we think have worked in the past that people are programmed to think are right. He kind of breaks that down and defies logic in terms of that's not how it works. You know, A plus B equals this C, and this is the reality. And it kind of opens your eyes up quite a bit to sort of understand the property market on a much deeper level. And, you know, it's, it's just been such great insights from Mel. I think it's been great. You know, the Sunshine Coast property, you know, everyday mum and dad investors, everyone all over the world can listen to what Mel is saying. And, you know, you have the confidence that he knows what he's talking about. Look, I think there's definitely, you know, in my career, I have, you know, interviewed a lot of different people in the property industry, a whole range of different experts uh, from, you know, economists through to, you know, people in the same sort of realm of property, investor property, like what Mel Cayley does. And I think the difference is, is that, you know, Mel Cayley has such a deep passion and understanding. He's so data driven. That's just the way he's wired that it all really does filter from that, that, that place of data and understanding the market on a whole other level, I think, um, that you would be hard pressed to find in any kind of comparable business, you know, that offers that same sort of thing. You can kind of just trust that he actually genuinely knows what he does. He, he, knows, uh, he knows the information, he has the data, he's happy to share it and basically help others. I do invest in property. I have chatted to Mel recently actually about sort of growing my portfolio and how we move forward, although I've done it up to this point on my own. 
uh, wanting to take that next step and really accelerate uh, what I can personally do in the next 10 to 15 years. Um, I've gone and seen Mel recently and I'd be you know, more than happy to uh, go under his smart guidance to help myself build a property portfolio in the future through investor property. I've had a couple of friends and colleagues that were wanting to sort of start to invest in property and I'm, you know, Mel's the first person I tell them that they need to speak to. If they're even interested remotely in buying a property, whether it's their first or whether they're building a portfolio, I just recommend they sit down and have a coffee with Mel. There's nothing to lose and, you know, the insights I'll get from that is just, they'll take with them forever.